Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra and Happy New Year. Today I'm excited to share how I made 48 cards from one card kit. This is from the Pink and Main Fantastic Florals Crafty Courtyard Kit that I purchased not too long ago. This was the kit that they offered in November of 2019, but it is still available for purchase on their website. And I'm also going to be including a gatefold card tutorial. Here's a picture of the kit that shows the entire contents of what you get. I'll link this kit in the description box below. Um, and here are my 48 cards. So as you can see, that the kit definitely comes with a lot of goodies. I just think that the pattern paper in this paper pad is just simply beautiful. I used every single piece of paper in the pad. Here is the stencil that comes with it. I do use this stencil to make one card, which I'll be showing you in this video. And here is the fantastic floral stamp set. But in today's video, I didn't use this stamp set to make any of the 48 cards. I do have a video where I use the stamp set that I'll be sharing with you on January 16th of 2021. So if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. This kit comes with a nice zippered project bag, some iridescent gems, some colorful confetti that's got little flowers in it, and also some wooden embellishments. I ended up coloring those with some ink and then some paper flowers, and as you can see, I don't have very many of those left. There's some baker's twine and also some tags. When I create with card kits, I like to take the kit and my paper trimmer to the couch so I can spend time with my family. I can cut down all of my papers while I watch TV, and then this way my husband doesn't tell me I spend all of my free time in my craft room. <laughs> I've already made around 20 cards, but I decided I would share with you guys what I do with the paper scraps and the remaining contents of the kit to make a lot more cards and stretch those supplies. This is the card that came in the kit that has the kit information and the names of coordinating colors on the back, and I made a card with it. And then these are the half sheets of glitter paper that I already used to make the die cuts for the front of the cards. And these are the die cuts, or actually the peach paper is what's left of the paper that came in the kit. And then these are the cards that I made. So um, these are the full panel sheets of pattern paper that I cut down to four by five and a quarter. And for this card, I used the pink and main sorry dies. And then the stamp part of it says, I missed your birthday. I wanted to make all birthday cards or cards that could be used for birthday or any occasion like this one that says best wishes. And this I believe is a die set from Picket Fence. Um, so, I just want to show you the cards that I've already made. A lot of them are very similar. I wanted to make the floral paper be the main part that you see. So I only wanted to put a little sentiment on there so that it wouldn't cover up any of the beautiful floral backgrounds. Okay, so here are some more cards and these are the cards some of these are ones that I used the pink and main happy birthday dies I really love these dies I probably use that more than any other die that I have um, but I love it because it has the shadow but I used that glitter paper to cut out the words and then I used some of my own black paper for the shadow here's some more of the sorry I missed your birthday um, and then I've got uh, pretty much they're all just the full panel that I cut from the paper pad and what I'll be using the purpose of this video is so that I can show you what I'm doing with what's left after making all of these cards cutting out the four by five and a quarter panels now this one I did use a strip from Simon Says Stamp it's a sentiment strip that says um, wishing you the happiest birthday. But the majority of these I used the happy birthday or sorry I missed your birthday. These best wishes cards can also be used for other occasions. So now that I've done that, oh, here is one card that I did make with a one scrap. And then I decided, you know, I'll just show everybody how I use up scraps to finish up a card kit. And I'm really shocked that I was able to get a total of 48 cards. So for the cards that I made earlier, I stamped out a bunch of those sentiments that say wishes that go along with the best and then the I missed your birthday that go along with the sorry. And these are the extra die cuts that I have. Um, and these are all the scraps. So I'm separating out the bigger pieces from the smaller pieces and I wanna show you what I do with these. 
Um, you'll see here that I'll use up the rest of these happy birthday die cuts and then we'll be making some gatefold cards. And again, here's the stamp set and the stencil. Not really sure why I showed you that again, but um, I took all of the inks that I thought would match and I put them here on this swatch and I'm just making sure that I like um, how they look against the paper. And these are the ones that I decided to go with. And most of these inks are from my favorite things. I do have one, the green is from Katherine Pooler at Slime Ricky. And then um, the my favorite things, uh, Razzleberry, is the one that I use the most. So I'm using the life-changing blender brushes. I have not had a chance to use these smaller ones yet, but I found a use for them. These wooden embellishments are um, kind of difficult to press directly onto the cube. So I decided to use the brushes and it works much better. Now with, the, with wooden embellishments, they have a smooth side and a rough side. I didn't realize that until after I started coloring them. So you'll see I kind of flip some of these over and color them again, just so that it doesn't show that grain look on some of them. Now here with the teal and the pink, it makes a purple color um, in the center and I really liked how that looked. So you'll see I decided to flip this one butterfly over and kind of color him again. But I really like the way these look colored and I'll be using these on some of these cards with the scraps that I make here in just a bit. Okay, so I'm taking the glitter cardstock that I cut all of those words out of and I'm just trimming off all of the edges that I can so that I can have some really thin strips and I'll be able to use them to make them look like frames um, with these scrap pieces. So I'm, I'm trimming this down to um, five and a half inches and so now I've got a two by five and a half inch piece and that's mainly what I'll be cutting all of these scraps down um, for these types of cards. And so I'm gonna set this aside. I like to take and put my, glue all of my stuff together when I'm sitting in front of the TV so that I'm not always in my craft room. And at least if I take it out there with me, my husband feels like I'm spending some time with them. Anyway, I'm now I'm using my stencil. I've taken a piece of scrap paper and I've placed it between my front and back of my card base. And I have, um, laid down my stencil and tacked it down with some purple tape and I'm applying some of the Razzleberry ink. I went a little heavy handed um, toward the top but I'm getting lighter with it to give it an ombre look since some of this is going to be covered up with that pattern paper anyway. So here I'm just trimming this down. Now you see there's a hole. That's basically what I'm going to be cutting off on all of these scrap pieces. So they'll all end up being two by five and a half inches. Now I did end up changing the layout of this when I glued it together, which you'll see here shortly. I didn't really like it covering up a lot of that stenciled work. So um, now that I have those, some of those cards done, I'm gonna try to match up some of the cardstock that I have on hand so that I can make some more cards. So I am using the Razzleberry, my favorite things for this pink, and I'm trimming it all down to four by five and a quarter inches. And then this green cardstock is from Stampin' Up. This is Green Apple. I thought it matched that Lime Ricky really well. So I've taken a sheet of black 110 pound heavyweight cardstock that I've cut in half, and I've placed it in my score board and I've scored it at two and one eighths of an inch and six and three eighths of an inch so that the flaps will meet together in the center. So here I am just trimming down the frames that will go on those flaps. The frames should be cut to one and seven eighths of an inch by five and a quarter of an inch, and you'll need two of those. And I'll put all of these dimensions in the description box below. Um, and so now I'm just taking the, the, the paper and trimming that down to one and three quarters of an inch by five and one eighths of an inch. So for the um, sentiment, I am using a piece of um, that pink cardstock and I've cut out a scallop. And then the, I believe it's two and three eighths of an inch scallop with a two inch um, white circle. And this is what I'll be stamping another happy birthday sentiment onto. So I, I use my bone folder to make sure that my flaps are, are um, scored down really well. And here I'm just gluing everything together. I've placed a piece of white cardstock in the middle since, the, since it's black in there and you won't be able to read anything. And now I'm just gluing down the front 
flap frames. Gosh, that's kind of hard to say. Front flap frames and then the paper. I'm using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to glue everything down. This is a liquid glue that I absolutely love because it dries fast, but it gives me just enough time to get my paper exactly where I want it and it dries clear too. So if it seeps out, it won't ruin anything. So this is a stamp set from Hero Arts. The stamp set is called Festive Balloons. Um, it's the stamps themselves are actually designed to be stamped inside of a balloon, but they I thought they looked really well in a circle, and that's what I wanted for the front of this gatefold card. If I could have used the stamps that came in the Fantastic Floral stamp set, I would have, but I was going for some birthday cards here. So to finish up the gatefold card, I've taken a piece of that black and white twine and I've made a bow and glued that to the bottom of the circle and I'm taking the black iridescent gems and gluing them all over. I'm using my jewel picker. This thing is like the best investment ever. It kind of lets you pick up the, the gem and then you can apply the glue and then put it back down. So these are all of the cards that I made with the scraps. You'll see some of them have the paper flowers on them. I've taken the confetti dots and glued them on the white ones. On this one here, this is actually, I used a piece of black cardstock and an embossing folder that has diagonal stripes. This one I used vertical stripes and I thought that that looked really stunning with that, with that um, pink wooden flower on there. I forgot to mention what I did with those one inch strips. Um, some of them had the little circle cutouts from the paper pad and rather than cutting them out, I just kept them a little bit bigger, but most of them I trimmed down to one inch and then I gave them a frame that's just a quarter of an inch bigger, like all of these here. And these I've added the wooden embellishments to these and I think that they're really pretty. The circle sentiments were ones I had left over from my gatefold cards, which I'll show you now. I've taken a piece, this first one is the one I showed you, but I decided that I liked the black circle um, behind the white because it makes it stand out a little more. So I ended up cutting white circles with a one and three quarter inch punch. And then I cut the black with a two inch punch. And then I had the scallops with a two and three eighths of an inch punch. So all of these are pretty much the same. I've taken a removable glue dot to hold the piece down, to hold them together. And then on the inside of some of them, I've added some of the extra scraps that I had left over that were smaller. And then this is my card that I used for my stencil. As you can see, the layout is a little bit different, but um, here are some of the other cards I made that I didn't show you yet with the wooden embellishments. And then here's where I incorporated the tags. So basically I just popped these up on some foam tape. The background paper is the black with raised dots that came in the kit. And then I also had some black and white flowers from um, that I got in the mystery box from Pink and Main a while back. So here are all of my cards, which you can't really see in this one picture because I've got them layered up. But here are 48 cards that I've made using the Fantastic Florals paper pad and the contents in their Crafty Courtyard kit. Just for a matter of information, I used 18 sheets of white 110 pound heavyweight cardstock and six black sheets to make all of my card bases. I used two green regular cardstock and three pink. And so that's in addition to what, what came in the kit. All of the supplies that I used to make these cards are listed in the description box below. So. Um, please let me know what you think of my cards. Leave a comment. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. You know, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and as well at my cardsbykendra.com website. I really appreciate all of my subscribers, and I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. I hope you have a wonderful new year.